It's my feel good breakfast show. Uh, welcome back. Of course, you're still locked in. It's your feel-good breakfast show. And now we're speaking to a uh, trainer, uh, Asha Dulab, as we unpack the personality types between introvert, ambivert, and extrovert, and how understanding the nuances can help in your relationships. But before we do, of course, this morning we asked you if you could identify with yourself as to whether you are an introvert or an extrovert, yeah. and you all came through with the comments indeed. Yes, you did. <laughs> Starting off with Ulindi Wetibase. She says, good morning. My boyfriend and I are both extroverts. We really enjoy talking to people and making new friends. I guess the type of work we do also allows us to make conversation with people that it has become a norm for us to just talk to everyone, no matter the race or gender. Okay, I like it. Seems like they got the the. the order in business, in their relationship in order, of course. Now we've got another one from Charmaine saying, uh, good morning, Expresso Show. I'm an extrovert. I put it all out there. I hope you have mm. a beautiful Monday and love you from y'all fans. Love it. <laughs> Wearing your heart on your sleeve. Utkai Kambile Gwego says, I'm with an extrovert. I can't say why. It just happened. So I assume she's, uh, uh, I mean, an introvert. So she's an extrovert. I and would she's currently so, yeah. with an introvert. And she can't say why it just happened. <laughs> we'll unpack that for you a little later on. <laughs> and then lastly, we got Karabu saying single, but I would prefer extroverts. Someone <laughs> who shares both sides. <laughs> that's a new term. That's a new okay, one. Extrovert. Like okay, <laughs> that's a new that's one. A new you need one. to add that one. Absolutely. You're like super, super extroverted and Super, super, super introverted. Two extremes. I think. Uh, Literally. I like <laughs> I'm just going to get straight into our mm. second part of our conversation. We, the first part was distinguishing the differences between introvert, amb ambivert, and mm. extrovert. So now when you mix these two different personality types, is there like some benefits, especially when it comes to relationships? Sure. So it's not as simplistic as just an introvert, extrovert, or introvert, introvert. It's, it's really about the blend of two people coming together. So... Two introverts can easily come together in a relationship and be very happy. They share very similar interests, they enjoy their time together, they cook together, they read together, they write together. I mean, they can um, sometimes overthink, get too much in their head because they're very much um, in their analytical time alone mode. And on the extroverts, I mean, like the, the lady said, they, they, <laughs> they, they just, you know, get it off, they go out, they socialise, they the extrovert. So, I mean, I think that one, again, one needs to just focus on that blend in a relationship and we can blend with anybody. It's what feels comfortable. Mm. Um, is the love, is the relationship feeling energized? Is this person making me feel exhausted? Is this person making me feel depleted? Or are they energizing me? Am I excited? Remember that we also have different stages of relationships. So usually in the honeymoon stage, we're all very excited and energized. And as we get to know someone, things change. Mm. Um, and that just brings about the different layers of our personality. Yeah, we have so, so many layers. Just unpacking it and hearing you speak about it, it's just, it just seems so overwhelming to me. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine being in a relationship, you always sometimes need to reach this bar, there's a standard. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are trying to pursue this perfect balance that we speak of. But um, is it important to, I, I would imagine, strive for that balance? Like if I'm an extrovert, do I need to then focus on being more of an introvert and vice versa? As an introvert, do I need to spend my energy trying to be an extrovert or can I spend that energy and, and elsewhere, I guess? I think you must just be your natural self. What comes naturally to you? Um, that's, that's more your authentic self. You know, if we look at personality, we need to look at where this word comes from. It comes from the word persona. Mm. And if you look deeper, it's the word, uh, the, the meaning of persona is a mask. So we're actually uh. playing a lot of roles. It goes right back to the theater days where we act our different roles. And what, this is what we do as human beings. Yeah. We act our different roles, different personalities, different personality traits in different um, circumstances and, mm. and with different people. Mm. So the relationship, I would imagine, would be one of those circumstances. Yeah. Absolutely. Coming from work, coming into relationship, mm. I would then imagine it's great to be aware of your personality Absolutely. type, right? Because Absolutely. that's something that can definitely affect the relationship. Kukle has a hard day mm -hmm. in the office this morning. She goes home and just lets rip. But yeah. it's not even about that partner. Yeah, so absolutely. I would imagine awareness is quite important. Self-awareness is critical, um, as well as also knowing how to self-soothe. I mean, knowing how, uh, you, what, what your needs are, not expecting your partner to meet your needs all the time mm -hmm. or that need for approval from your partner. And also self-expression, really understanding, you know, what is your own world about and being able to express that to your partner and also asking your partner, what is going on in your world? Mm. Um, because we can get so caught up in our daily routines yeah. 
Um, so that's an important question as well. Literally, I was about to ask that question and Raul decided to overtake me. <laughs> but you've touched on it now and I want to unpack a little bit further mm. into how do we communicate our worlds to our partners, mm. you know? Because as an extrovert, I have a different way of communicating mm -hmm. to my partner who might be an introvert or he might be an extrovert, but his channel of communication is different from yeah. mine. Sure. So we must remember that an introvert is a very good listener. They are all about deep conversations and deep listening, where the extrovert will speak um, quite with, sometimes without thinking, as mm. I said. Um, and it's about, again, just understanding, you know, okay, my partner's more of an extrovert. I need to listen more. And, you know, the extrovert understanding that the partner actually, the introvert doesn't say very much. The introvert's actually at the risk of saying too little, mm. where the extrovert is at the risk of saying too much. Mm. <laughs> That's how they share. But, again, it's just about in our communication yeah. Um, yeah, and spending that quality time with partners. If you think about the introverts, they are ones that love that quality time. Yeah. If I think about the love languages that we spoke about a few weeks yes. ago. Yes. So, yeah, it's really yes. just getting to know your partner. No, I love definitely. it. How about you, Ra? How long have you been in a relationship now? Um, uh, recently, I think about at least four years, to be very honest. What? On and off. Yeah. I had no idea <laughs> I was in a relationship for four years. Oh, and <laughs> <laughs> and how has it been for you guys in terms of finding the balance? It's, what you're speaking about is something that is really resonating with me because mm. a lot of the time, like I mentioned earlier, often life gets mm. in the way of the relationship and you make these assumptions that that person's just going to be how they are every single day. Mm, but yes. I don't think that's fair of uh, anybody in the relationship. So uh, one thing that you've kind of reminded me of, if mm. anything, is just to kind of pay more attention to your mm. partner especially when your world's feeling like it's absolute chaos. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of value in that. Um, and for me, I am definitely more of an extrovert. So again, I like and can resonate with a lot of the qualities of an introvert, especially listening, mm. which is something absolutely value. And in any relationship, I think it's quite important. So mm. I've just learned a lot here and, and, and taking this into what I hope to be a longer relationship too. <laughs> he is a great listener. Now you, you need to invoice him for uh, the sure. session that we had now. Asha Dula. Thank you so much for Pleasure. always showing up, you know, and elevating our relationship mm. statuses to the next level, whether it's intrapersonal, interpersonal, however it may be or however it manifests. You have been just fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I hope that you guys have learned a little something, something. Make sure to keep the conversation going. Keep it flowing on our social media platforms and let us know what personality type you fall under.